information. Right now, at least 18 people are displaced after a fire in Fairfield. It broke out early this morning and Local 12's Clancy Burke is live with the latest. Clancy. Hey, Sheila, not only are 18 people suddenly without a home tonight, but also at least one person was taken to the hospital. As of right now, we don't have any word on that person's injuries, but if I step out of the way, you could see firefighters are still here. They've already knocked out the fire, but what they're doing now is they're letting some of these people back into the apartment complex to get some of their belongings. And like I said, you probably heard me say uh, tonight. It is tonight for them. I mean, they have not gone to bed. Uh, some of them, others were sleeping when this fire broke out. Out. The good news is everyone has been accounted for, but as I mentioned, at least 18 people suddenly without a home. This all started at around 1.30 this morning. Firefighters tell me they could see the flames shooting from the roof about a mile away. They knew they were going to need a call in back up, and they did. They called in three other fire departments, and they were able to put out the fire and try to save as much as they could of this apartment complex. Take a listen to what the deputy fire chief told me. Our crews did a tremendous job for the amount of fire that they encountered when they got on the scene. They did a great job uh, knocking it down. We kept uh, primarily the fire damage to one half of the building. Uh, we do have water and probably smoke damage in some of the rest of the building, but our crews did a fantastic job. This was a 12 unit apartment complex, so obviously you have a lot of people who are sleeping. As I mentioned, it broke out at around 1.30 this morning, so the good news is they were able to get everyone out, and now Red Cross is assisting these people, trying to get them a place to sleep. And the cause of this fire is still under investigation. As of right now, they have no idea what caused it. For now, reporting live in Fairfield, Clancy Burke, Local 12 News. 530